Welcome to the Schools of Electronic Engineering and Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering at Dublin City University. This presentation describes the undergraduate program opportunities that are available to you in engineering at DCU. During the presentation we will describe the university and what we mean by the term engineering. We will then describe the specific engineering programs provided at DCU. You will learn that a special feature of your education will be the work placement, otherwise known as intra. You will also find out about the entry requirements to each course and the type of job you can expect after graduating. DCU began life in 1975 as the National Institute for Higher Education and it was in 1989 that it achieved university status. As such, it is the youngest Irish university. In the early days, DCU was focused largely on science, although it quickly evolved into other areas of learning, such as business and, of course, engineering. Along with its wide range of courses, DCU has top-class facilities in its North Dublin location, including expansive student accommodation. Unlike the traditional halls of residence style accommodation favoured by some universities, our student accommodation largely consists of apartments which have ensuite rooms with shared living areas. And for those that like a change of scenery, there is plenty of affordable accommodation within easy walking distance of the campus. We have the latest in sports facilities, including a 25 metre swimming pool, a 75 metre indoor running track, astroturf and grass pitches, squash and handball courts, a rock climbing wall and a high tech gym. Other notable features of the DCU campus are the Helix Theatre, the Centre for Talented Youth, and numerous retail outlets which all add to the overall experience of life on campus. Whatever you're interested in beyond your studies, the numerous clubs and societies are sure to keep you occupied. The engineering building was opened in 2002 and boasts an extensive workshop and some of the finest laboratory facilities in the country. DCU is recognised for its research as the institution has numerous research centres that are heavily involved in various research projects on national and international basis. The DCU library is one of the finest in the country with access to over 100 academic databases. DCU graduates are highly sought after because of the applied nature of courses and the industry focused education. The best way to explain the term engineering is to describe what an engineer does. At the highest level, engineers design and implement solutions to technical problems. To do this requires innovation and creativity as well as technical know-how. Given a design brief, the engineer will work with others as part of a team to arrive at an optimal solution. This requires an understanding of the basic sciences and the ability to specify the problem in an engineering context. Following a formal analysis and conceptual design stage, a final design solution is selected, bearing in mind the impact that it may have on the user, the wider society and the environment. This protocol is used in all streams, whether it be mechanical, electronic, computer, biomedical or civil engineering. The result is better systems and products and ones which are evolving as scientific knowledge advances. An example of a design solution is shown in the video clip. Here, a mechatronic student designed and tested his solution to an assembly problem on an automated production line. The degree qualifications provided at DCU are recognized around the world, affording graduates the opportunity to practice their profession wherever they wish. There are two schools of engineering in DCU the School of Electronic Engineering and the School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering. Thanks to our common entry programme, you can wait until the end of your first year before specifying which programme option you would like to specialise in. Alternatively, you can choose direct entry routes if you've already made up your mind. In either case, all students cover the same materials in the first year of their study. A common first year means that you can pick from four programmes from second year onwards. This way you get an idea of the fundamentals and then pick the type of engineering programme that suits you best. An example of first year content is the mobile robotics project shown here. Students design and build a robot to play football. The designs are presented in a poster exhibition and tested competitively against each other. 
After first year, you can choose the Electronic and Computer Engineering program, which has four major options. You can also choose Mechatronic Engineering, which includes a combination of Mechanical Engineering and Electronic Engineering content. Or, you can choose from two Mechanical Engineering programs, Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering and Biomedical Engineering. Electronic and Computer Engineering, or ECE, involves the design and use of electronic and computer systems that underpin so much of modern life. Electronic and computer engineers create and innovate to invent, design, improve and build products and technologies that improve people's lives and solve societal challenges. This involves developing and interfacing both hardware and software to create new technology or to speed up and improve existing components. Pictured is a heart defibrillator. Engineers have worked on improving these devices, giving people with heart conditions a better quality of life. They are now more compact, more reliable and capable of restoring much of the patient's original lifestyle thanks to their electronic design. Another example is in the area of aviation diagnostics where Acra Control, a company started by four DCU electronic engineers, has been in the news. Their systems ensure that aircraft perform as expected and identify design flaws. The technology developed by the graduates is now used by leading airspace manufacturers such as Airbus, Boeing and the European Space Agency. Started in 1992, the company was bought recently for €42 million. Euro. The ECE programme has four major options which indicates the breadth of material that is covered in this programme. These major topics reflect modern trends in ECE. They are tightly aligned with government research priority areas of focus and with current and future industry needs. You choose your major in the fourth year of the programme, which ensures that you are exposed to all of the ECE areas and industrial training before you have to make up your mind. The major in digital interaction focuses on humans communicating to devices and devices communicating to the world. This major addresses questions such as, how do we build cars that can drive themselves? How can we engineer better human-computer interaction interfaces for computer visualization and gaming? The major in systems and devices focuses on the further study of the electronics content within the ECE degree. This major addresses questions such as, how do we design better sensors, medical devices, or even better computers? The major in high-speed communications focuses on wired and wireless devices communicating to devices at high speed. This major addresses questions such as how can we realise even faster networks to meet evolving demands from devices and applications. And finally, the major in the Internet of Things focuses on devices communicating to the Internet. This major addresses questions such as how do we make everyday life smarter? How can we use energy more efficiently? Mechanical and manufacturing engineering looks at how physical systems move, what materials are required to give objects the required properties and how we design and manufacture components. With modern technology we can do a lot of the design and analysis using computers. In the video clip the flow distribution past the motorbike is analysed to optimise aerodynamics. Using this technique, it is possible to design body shape prior to manufacture. Biomedical engineering combines biology, medicine and science with engineering. The industry in this sector is well developed here and Ireland is known as the medical device capital of Europe. High spec devices such as artificial organs and bone prosthesis are designed and manufactured for supply around the world. The mechanical engineer analyzes practical problems such as the dynamic behavior of moving objects. In this case the task was to carry a beaker of water up a ladder. The initial design succeeds in climbing but too much water is lost. We need to improve the solution. This requires further analysis which means modeling the system and working out how to design a suspension based on springs and a damper to cushion the ride. The theory used is similar to that when designing the suspension of a car. Mathematical analysis allows us to calculate spring stiffness and shock absorber dimensions to give optimum performance. 
The design is then sent to the machine shop for manufacture. We can compare the old and the revised design. Now the benefits of the engineered solution become apparent as no water is lost. The mechanical engineer has to respond to the needs of the world. In this example, a new highly maneuverable zero emissions electric dumper was required. The design work on this vehicle was performed at the School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering at DCU. The design started with a concept phase. At this stage, the design team brainstorms ideas using sketches and outline drawings. Following an evaluation of the concepts, the optimum design is selected. Detailed design work follows using 3D computer aided design software to coordinate individual part design with the system assembly. The design process also includes consideration of how the product can be manufactured with the part drawings being sent electronically to the manufacturer. Biomedical engineers use an understanding of engineering technologies and biomedical science to develop better medical devices. Some case studies will help show the factors that they must take into consideration. The stents seen here are metallic implants that are delivered in a collapsed form through the arterial system to a point where plaque has caused a narrowing of the artery. They are then permanently expanded using a balloon which is then retracted, leaving the stent behind to prop the artery open. Biomedical engineers have to study the ways in which materials interact with the body. Are they safe for long-term implantation? They have to consider the ability of the wire strut assembly to resist the recoil of the artery and whether excessive force will cause a biological reaction. They may also study the release of drugs from coated stents to inhibit new plaque. All these considerations require engineering analysis. The mechatronic program is taught jointly by the School of Electronic and the School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering. Mechatronics is a synergized approach to the design and analysis of hybrid systems where mechanical, electronic and software skills are required. More often than not, a mechatronics engineer is aiming to control a mechanical device using electronic systems program to provide some form of artificial intelligence. This video clip shows a third year Mobots project involving mechanical design of a mobile platform which is driven electrically and programmed using the C++ language on a microcontroller. The microprocessor or brain of the device responds to signals from optical sensors and sends the appropriate control signals to the electric motors in order to complete a task. INTRA is the acronym for Integrated Training and is a core aspect of all engineering programs in DCU. You will spend time working out in industry or one of our renowned research groups. The placement has many benefits. Students are introduced to the working environment where timekeeping, teamwork and professional responsibility are key elements of the training. Students are able to identify which aspects of engineering particularly interest them and what type of career they wish to pursue. The placements are organised by the university and company interviews are held to choose candidates. Once selected, the student spends the second half of third year and a summer at the company. The first picture on this side shows one of our students in front of a stripped down aircraft engine during his intra placement. The second picture is a slide from a 3D imaging project that was undertaken by an intra student at one of the national centres of expertise located on this campus. Here are some of the companies that our students have been placed with. The training period runs from April to September during which a visit is made by the academic tutor to ensure both employer and employee are happy with progress. Most placements are within Ireland, although some have been undertaken with companies and research centres in Europe and further afield. For the BEng programmes, there is an option of continuing for a fifth year by taking a further 90 credits to achieve the award of Master of Engineering. The entry requirements to the programme are as follows. For BEng programmes, you need to meet the general university requirements, which are two higher C3s and four passes, including English or Irish. In addition, you will need a C3 in higher level mathematics or applied mathematics. 
You do not need science or computing. We will teach you all that you need to know in those subjects. An engineering degree offers many options and is regarded by employers as an excellent general purpose qualification. As well as a technical role, engineers can take up positions in management, consulting, financial services and teaching. The problem solving skills you acquire as an engineer and the ability to implement solutions to technical challenges will open up a wide array of job opportunities. Typically engineers start in a technical position and then take on management roles as their career progresses. 33% of Irish CEOs are from an engineering background. Ireland places a strong emphasis on the development of high-tech industry, which requires appropriately qualified personnel. Some graduates can go on to study for master's degrees or PhDs through research, and they can even do that in DCU. The professional qualifications recognised around the world providing opportunities wherever you wish to work. Continuing on to a fifth year of study will allow for chartered engineer status. You can find additional information on these programmes from our website using the address at the bottom of this slide. Further information is also available from the two schools by contacting the school secretaries listed on this slide. Thank you for your attention.